I was in school at uh, Simple Finishing School in New York City. I had a horse here at home, and Summerfield Johnston suggested that to my mother that we send that horse to Happy Valley Farms to be trained. David was the trainer at Happy Valley Farms. When I got home from school, the first thing I wanted to see was my horse, so I went to Happy Valley, and that's when I met David. And after I got back from school up there, I persuaded him to give me a job that paid my gas bill from Cleveland to Chattanooga as secretary at the stables at Happy Valley. And that's the way we got to know each other and had lunch together every day and eventually ended up by getting married. Uncle Eric and his family came down from St. Louis for the wedding. And Mother had a house made that was took care of me so good. And they laughed and said as I came down the stairs for the wedding, she followed me right down because she was just as much into it as I was. <laughs> that was Lydia. And I thought the world of Lydia. The neatest thing that he always said about my mother that I always just thought, if I could get a man to feel that way about me, I would have arrived. He always told us as, as young girls, if you can grow up and be any part of your mother, you'll be very special. Somebody will think this or that. He always would tell people, and he didn't just tell Margo and me, he'd tell people who would compliment her. He'd say, well, you know, I make the living, but she makes the living worth living. And, you know, he really felt that way. He was so, I think his love for her was so great that Ann and I were for sure we were going to end up with a marriage similar or, or hopefully like that. We were going to do our best. I idolized my father. I mean, I took every step he stood took and wanted to be with him all the time. And he always was very complimentary of mother, but I thought he was just such a nice guy and he was so wonderful. Everybody loved everything he said and did and the world's personality. And I just thought, well, mother's fine, but he's just saying that because he's such a nice guy. And you know, I was a mature person, a grown up, I guess, before I really realized how wonderful and how gracious and how loved and how appreciated and all the things he said about her were in fact absolutely there.